Welcome everyone back to another Nick and Joe's film room. Um, definitely a long-awaited one. Um, so here we have Jarrett Patterson, our favorite college player by far. Um, and he sets, I think, or tied one NCAA re record and set one MAC record. Almost broke the NCAA r record um, for most rushing yards in a game. He had 409 rushing yards and 8 TDs. In one game, um, insanity. I, I, there's not much to say. Never seen it. a game like this in real life. Yeah, so I think let's just get into it. I think so. So, start out. So on the first play of the game, that's he, how he starts. He is wearing number 41 this game. Uh, I forgot the reason why he did. Um, and yeah, he's gone. And to yeah, the house. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's like a power back, but he's quick me. also. Um, they're going to show another angle on this run also. Um, so... Uh, he, like, let's watch from this angle. Um, so it's just so amazing to watch. Buffalo's offensive line is also very good too, but you know, Jared Patterson makes it look very effortless. Yeah, look, look at the hole. Um, and then the vision. Yeah. He's breaking tackles. It's not even fair. He has here, like sneaky speed. Here he stays up and gets that touchdown. They're probably going to show it from a different angle. Um, yeah, we saw that. Easy but, money. You know, it's, it's quite easy for him. So, like here, second down. Run up the middle. Go back, you know, a, little, a little run up the middle, getting yards. Buffalo offensive line is definitely... One of the best lines in the country. Um, JP, and he's out of there. Oh, yep. Dang. There's another one. <laughs> Two touchdowns in under four minutes. Yeah, you're not catching him. Boom, that's speed. <laughs> and he's out of there. And Kent State was tied for first with them going into this game. Yes, so. Kent State was... Um, they, actually had a, they actually had a pretty good rush defense before this game. They actually had... I think... Yeah. Not anymore. I think I think they actually allowed like one, some of the most little rush yards a game, and you know, that did not hold up with this beautiful offensive line work. Jesus, good. It's just Jared Patterson's skills just like are so underrated. Then yeah, cause, just because he doesn't play like up on a big school, getting those yards. Not really too many Easy. holes there, but still gets about five to six yards there. Actually, it's a beautiful play. Pretty sure, he, pretty sure he may have averaged like 12 yards a run this game. Here on third and seven, they are running it, which is just amazes me. And he is out and of gone. There. Which actually amazes me how they are running right. it on third down. Um, yeah, third and seven, that's how actually, much they so trust look, him. Let me just, so there's eight pe no, there's seven people in the box here. Um, and JP finds the hole and he's out of there. Yeah, too fast for that guy. Three and one quarter. <laughs> yeah, so let's get it from the uh, guys. Watch this again. Um, some key blocks here. His, his OC is definitely really good. Boom, and he could beat out one player with his speed. Beautiful play. Second quarter, we got some second quarter action here, and he's out of there. Eh, yep, he's and good blocking, and, and he's he's gone. Not being, he's not being caught. <laughs> he's not. Oh my God. Let's just watch that back. Except I show a different angle. And and this is not on repeat. It's not. Again, saying patient, he's not bursting up to yet. He finds a small hole and bye bye. He's out of there. And this is no and this is no FCS D one football, which FCS D one football is still good. This is FBS D one football. You gotta you gotta keep that in mind. Good blocking, good vision, don't get off. Yeah, and breaks that tackle, and you know his speed on is honestly remarkable. Um, here's a little dive of the middle, and powers through and reaches that ball forward, and gets his fifth touchdown he in the first like half. This is the perfect like running back build. Yeah, gets his fifth touchdown of the first half, which is crazy to me. Again, right here, breaks that D lineman's ankles, and you know literally actually demolishes the guy. Oh my, another ankles. Jesus. Um,
a little run the start of the third quarter here. Sees that small HP stretch hole. Get that spinning. Gets a, probably the first down there. Um, a lot of these draws up the middle, and he powers through for that touchdown. That's, that's actually a beautiful play. I hope they show that again. Such a physical runner. Yeah, he just put, he puts his head down, puts his shoulders down, and just runs. Um, he has the power and the speed. Gets that first down, you know, really. He sees there's no holes on this side, bounces that back to the other side. Third and six again. He has a lot of fast cutbacks also. Um, I mean, he's 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 your best other team. I mean, he's your best running, running back in this long. draft. Again, shows his I mean, speed, I would say so, but... And he's out of there. You know, everyone, everyone's got to hype up the the guys that play on the big schools. Yeah, definitely, pe definitely people like um at the net and not and Najee Harris. Um, something I don't understand, like he's right. like, like he he's he's pretty much putting up Trey Lance numbers from last year, and Trey Lance is gonna be a first round pick. Why is Jared Patterson not a first round pick? It just doesn't really make sense to me. I mean, I understand Trey Lance is a quarterback, and like probably, you know, probably because he's a running back. Yeah. But if if a running back's putting these kind of numbers on like a D one school, like you can't just like. Pretend it didn't happen. Like you can't he, be like, like impressed. He literally just killed him, and he j j breaks two tackles and kills a man. He gets nine yards on that play. This man is absolutely remarkable. Like you put this guy in an NFL team with a solid offensive yeah. line. He he's putting up thousand yard seasons. I don't care. And he's gone again. <laughs> this play is absolutely. Oh this play is absolutely insane. Okay. The whole country is in the box right now. I know they are in a tight for formation, but the whole country is in the box. All 11 pe people are, are in the box. Has two people wrapped him up and breaks off and just runs. And <laughs> just kills these people in a foot race. He's got that balance. I mean, like, he doesn't have... He's not the same, like, size as him, but he, he has, like, a Derrick Henry style of play. Uh-huh, yeah. I think it's a Derrick Henry style. Obviously, Henry's huge, but... Yeah, he's a little shorter than Henry. Like, I, I say that he's tackles. like Henry, because like Henry's not really... He's just going to do power runs, and he's not hes not really like a receiving threat yet. And he jukes out his own well, offensive lineman. Line like, that fell. Does your matter? Oh my god. Doesn't matter. Kills two people there. Pretty much puts that, that them... That second juke move was pretty, nasty. Pretty much puts them on Sports Center. Um, it's just so sad what Jared oh, Patterson nice. does to all these, you know, people who went FBS D1. Oh my god. <laughs> Making them look uh, silly, absolutely silly out there. Again, the uh, HP dive up the middle, and he powers through for that first down, pretty much to close out the game here. Keep in mind... They're almost like inside runs. Yeah, this is to end the game. Keep in mind, um, the backup running back did have 100 yards and 2 TDs. Um, so that's... <laughs> You know, quite insane. Points. Um, here he's just. I remember he talked about how all he wanted to do was win. Um, as his second most all-time FBS history, he was actually 17 yards behind. Uh, yeah. Samaj P. Ryan, a 426 yards. Um, yeah, just coach to took him out, but I mean, I mean, you don't want to. It's whatever. Star I mean, player. he still put on a show. Um, they went from three votes in the AP poll to 56, and actually only needed 14 more votes to get ranked. Um, yeah, just showing some of these remarkable, you know, uh, like, power. He's definitely the, definitely going to be the best prospect out of Buffalo since Cleo Mack. 100%. Um... I mean, at, I mean, at, at his position, he is putting up Khalil Mack type numbers, um, like 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 Khalil Mack did at the uh, edge rusher position. He he's putting up those kind of numbers. Here, here he's just talking. We see if you know, show any other highlights. I don't believe they do. They do not. Um, see, he has. In f it's just crazy. At four games, he has 920 yards. Yeah. Total. Um. Now the Ohio game was canceled. I don't know if that is going to be rescheduled at all. I don't believe so. I think it's just canceled fully. Is that correct? So I think there's only, I think. More, so I think there's only there. one more game. Oh, one more. Yeah. Oh, there's only one more game. Ah, uh, just 
first central. But, I believe. but they announced that they announced but with the Buffalo already won the Mac East though. I mean, yeah, probably. I mean, I, I don't know if they qualify for the bowl game. I don't I don't know if they do. I think they still might qualify for a bowl game, so that might be a, a extra seventh game they have there. Um, I'm interested how those games yeah. are going to work, because I know t like schools like the Big Ten, they can't play anyone out of the Big Ten. So I don't know how that's going to work in the bowl games. Um, I don't know if they're going to give it, give it an, an exception for that, because they can't really ruin like the bowl games. Um, but I would love to see how. Yeah, I'd love to watch Patterson a bowl game. I mean, you 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 gotta you gotta give him a tough matchup because, yeah, it does concern me. I mean, I it, yeah. it concerns me a little bit that you know, he does it all against like obviously it's in the MAC. It's not the best conference, but it's a really good conference. There's a lot of un underrated players in this conference. Um, if it wasn't for COVID, because they're supposed to go against Ohio State this okay, year. I would love to see that. Obviously. Buffalo, Jared Patterson is the Jared Patterson, the offensive line is but is the whole team. Their defense, they they allow a lot of points, um, but they put they put up seventy points in this football game. Which their is defense is up and down. Yeah, he insane stats. Yeah, I mean, the main the, yeah, their main game plan is the run game. I mean, he'll end up finishing with twenty TDs. I would I think we'll score probably four TDs next game if I had to if I had to guess. We'll end up finishing with 20, 20 TDs and probably 1,200 yards, if I had to guess. Um, In five games. 1,200 rushing yards. He actually has zero receiving yards because they don't really use him. I feel like I feel like a team in the NFL, if, if they incorporate his receiving game also, I feel like he could be a force to be reckoned with, definitely. Yeah, I've never really seen him. I don't even think like they even use him as a receiver in this offense. Yeah, they have never thrown the ball. I'm curious. Like, I don't, I don't know if it's just like he can't catch or like not gonna route running, or they just don't do it. I don't, I don't think they need to. I don't think they want to overcomplicate him. That's why. That's another reason why I think his draft stock is not as high as you know, it could be. That's why I feel like they should start trying to include that to get his stock up there. Yeah. Um. Let me put this in perspective. So they played eight game season last year, I believe. When they played, it, no more than that. How many games did they play last year? Um, I will figure that out. I'm checking that right now. They played, oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 games. 13 games, and his stats, or let me read, let me read his stats. His stats last year were 17, 1,800 rushing yards and 19 TDs. This year, in four games, he has 920 yards and 16 TDs. Also has a three more yards per, per, um, three more uh, a average yards per carry with 8.6. Obviously, he has no receptions on the season because he doesn't need any receptions. Um, but yeah, definitely very remarkable. Um, he's just putting video game numbers. Yeah, up. these are video game numbers. Um, I don't care who you are. These are not human numbers. I don't care if you're versing D. I don't even care if you're versing a D2 school. These are not human numbers. Like you don't you don't see Justin Fields putting these up, like putting up. Seven TD games against, um, like, like I mean, obviously, like they they play good schools, but they I, they versed one school and he didn't put up like great numbers, but he still put up good numbers. So, I mean, I don't. I, I'm I, saying I think it was I'm, last year I'm gonna be disappointed if he's not drafted in the second or third round. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna be disappointed unless he goes to a team that I like after that, because then they got the huge steal, and you know, I mean, I just think he deserves second or third round. I mean, he's he is the biggest steal of, of the draft. He is by far the biggest. I I, I don't I don't understand. He, he's he's gonna be the next year's Antonio Gibson. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he I mean, he has better stats than Antonio Gibson. Antonio Gibson had a really good college. You know, he, Antonio Gibson was a a big threat. He, um, he's a good receiver too. But I think you know I yeah the only thing is I feel like they're scared about you know his um only him being a runner, but I feel like. No, because he has good moves in open space. Like his juke moves are great. I feel like he can, you know, honestly be like a prime Le'Veon Bell type. He reminds me of a prime Le'Veon Bell type, honestly. Um, and prime prime Le, 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 Le'Veon Bell was a good, a really good player. So. And, and he's strong too, so he might he probably could become a good run or a pass blocker. I mean, yeah, which is very underrated. Um. Yeah. 
So, yeah, B Buffalo's game versus Ohio was canceled today due to Ohio COVID outbreak. So that's – can't really do anything about that. Um, I think they should reschedule it possibly, but, hey, I don't really call any of the rules. Um, next week they do verse. Let me some. I will tell you who they verse. Next week. Is it like Akron or something? Yes, they verse Akron, who is 0-4, so obviously they're going to kill him. Um, oh, and yeah. He's Jared, feasting. He may. I would love to see Patterson put up like 9 TDs and finish with 25 TDs on the season. I would love to see that. Um, <laughs> the quarterback only has 78 attempts in four games. I mean, he doesn't have to throw with those running backs. Yeah. Um, and, again, thank you for bringing that. Kevin Marks Jr., the backup running back, is insane. Yeah. Obviously, he's, yeah, respect too. he's gonna have to stay for senior year just because you can't. No one's ever starting over a guy like Patterson. Um, it's just never. It's not going to happen. Um, yeah, actually, currently Akron is beating Bowling Green by a lot. So that is something to look out for. So look like look like Akron is gonna actually actually going to have a win for this uh, next week's matchup. <laughs> um. You know, I actually, I mean, I, I, I like the MAC honestly. I feel like the MAC's a very underrated conference. Um, let me just read some of the scores from today while we're here. Twenty-four to three, Akron's winning in the third quarter. Ball State is beating Central Michigan, twenty-four to fourteen. Eastern Michigan is beating Western Michigan, thirty to twenty, thirty to twenty-one, which is actually a very big surprise. Eastern Michigan is is um defeated. They have not won a game, and Western Michigan is undefeated. That is something to keep your eye on. And Toledo beat North Northern Illinois 41 to 24, and Kent State and Miami Ohio were canceled, and Buffalo and Ohio were canceled. So sucks. Sucks, but you know you can't do anything about it. I believe you know we'll probably end up making a season highlight video because there's so much more to show um, at the end of the season. But I think that's it, really. Oh, yeah. one last thing. I understand he plays in the MAC, but put this guy in the the um what was I gonna say? Put this guy in the Heisman Trophy race. These are he played four games. Yeah, he needs to be considered. And he he he's fourth in rushing yards in the NCAA. He's fourth. And he's played less he games played than probably all games. those top you know, three. He's played less games. Than, the MAC has played the least amount of games. MAC has played the least amount of games out of yeah. any. Out of out of just just imagine if he had like a. Like a season, like the Ma imagine, season imagine, had. imagine he had a twelve game season again. He would, he'd be on pace for three thousand rushing yards only, and 40, 40 plus TDs. This is that that is he that would is, have broke every record. That is little, that is literally Derrick Henry high school numbers. Derrick Henry was an insane player in high school. That's literally Derrick Henry high school numbers. But again, don't want to make this video too long. We, you know, our stance on Jared Patterson. We found we we sh we made a video on him, hyping him up, saying. I mean, his his draft. Yeah, we stock, were already on him. His draft stock was probably fifth round before the year started, fifth to a a, a, a a third day draft. Now, he's second to third in my opinion. Um, I just don't think you could pass up on this guy that much more. Um, yeah, that's all I really have to say about him. So, if you don't have anything else to say, Nick, then I guess we're good. And like. Patterson's such like a good guy too, because like, after that game, like he wasn't even like saying how good he was. He was like comp the first thing he did is compliment his offensive line. And yeah, like and he did tweet out on Twitter. Um, he said I wouldn't be able to do this without my offensive line or something along those lines. He did say that I would not be able to do this without my offensive line. Um, so yeah, you know, and he and he shows love to all his fans on Twitter too. Yeah, he is one of the most active people on Twitter. He he, I think he retweeted one of our stuff. Our, our thing. Yeah, um, he he liked our first video. Yeah, he liked our first video. So we, we appreciate it a lot. We appreciate that. Jared Patterson, we hope you see this. Obviously, I doubt you'll make it this far, but uh, if <laughs> but if you do, you know, we wish you luck in your last Buffalo season, obviously, because you're definitely not staying. I, I truly hope not. I mean, you, you, are, you are a junior. Uh, I think you should go into the league, though. You don't want to risk any injuries or anything like that. Um... Because, yeah, nothing much to say more about him. Um, you know, only 20, I think he's 20 currently, or 21. So he's still a young guy. I you know he's 20 currently, so that's all I have yeah. to say about him. And, by the way, if Jared Patterson, if you are still here again, um, hope 
luck in the NFL, whatever team you get drafted to. You know, personally, if anyone else put these numbers up, they're 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 a top ten pick. But like 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 Patterson said himself, he's been slept on, and stars in high school don't mean anything. The only offer was from Buffalo, and yeah, he's definitely very thankful for that. So that's all I have to say. Perfect fit. Definitely is. Day five of Budsmith, I believe. Video will be going out later in the day. Um, yeah. but. We're keeping the upload tree going. Day 5 out of 25 complete. We have some very big ideas for that Christmas Day video. We do not know what we are doing yet. Um, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, I think we're out. So guys, stay tuned for every video we have coming. We love the support you guys are giving us. And uh, peace.